Well, we started out with some chilly temperatures and some icy roads. And a look at our temperature contours for today show that we went from those 20s, warmed up through the 30s by the mid morning hours, and then some of that ice started to melt as we enjoyed high temperatures in the 40s from Grand Forks through Fargo. Records this time of the year for Fargo, 52 degrees, so it wasn't a record high, but it certainly felt lovely. Temperatures holding off into the 30s for Lakes Country, and this evening we've dropped back down into the 30s. 36 right now in Valley City, 36 in Detroit Lakes, and a degree better in Roseau. Langdon, you have 32. Grand Forks right now, 35 degrees. And here's a look outside. Traffic moving smoothly on this Friday night here in the Fargo Moorhead area. It doesn't get much better than this in the month of January. 37 degrees, wind 10 miles per hour. It's from the west. And when we look across our region, not much taking place. A few high clouds through the arrowhead of Minnesota. We do have some clouds pushing into Winnipeg, and this little disturbance will bring us a chance of snow in the future. But the main event is well off to the north and west, and it gets here this weekend. Let's get right to the hour by hour forecast. This evening, enjoy. Temperatures slowly slipping into the 30s, and and that's going to cause some wet streets to freeze up again. As we go through the late evening hours, we'll see even some 20s out there. Then overnight, I want you to focus on the increase in clouds and watch this little area right here. As we head towards sunrise, we're going to have a chance of some snow across northwest Minnesota and the northeasternmost quadrant of North Dakota. So for Pembina, for Cavalier, Winnipeg, all the way down to uh, Roseau and uh, the Badger area, you could see some flakes of snow to start your day. And temperatures for everyone will be generally 25 to 30 degrees. This snow quickly zips out of here, and by noon, this is when everything changes. We'll enjoy temperatures that climb quickly into the mid, maybe even upper 30s for our southern and eastern counties. But rain develops out west. By noon, we'll start to see it moving into the James River Valley. Some rain not far from the Devil's Lake Basin, but to the north, snow. Draw a line from the Devil's Lake Basin through Fargo Moorhead and Lakes Country. That's where the snow potential is greatest, and it should be mostly snow. But look at the rain moving through. When it falls on a deep layer of frozen surface, once the sun sets is when we'll have that risk of really seeing icy road conditions. So 3.30 in the afternoon towards sunset, the rain will move through the Fargo Moorhead area and then change over to snow. So we could have that. Um, a freezing rain on the surface, on, then topped off with a little layer of light snow that will continue into the overnight hours, by the way, as temperatures fall into the lower 30s in the late evening. So I think the biggest risk for some freezing rain will be basically from Fargo through Jamestown and the Devil's Lake Basin all the way out to the western part of the state. Could be slippery in the late evening hours, covered by some snow. Snowfall potential one to three inches here in the core of the storm from Devil's Lake through Fargo Moorhead. We could see a good inch or maybe a little more of snow by Sunday morning. Isolated areas could pick up around five inches of snow or so as well. This doesn't come with a lot of wind but it certainly comes with a lot of slippery conditions. So your hour by hour forecast for Fargo shows temperatures overnight really steady, falling into the 20s to start our day and south winds. Then as we go through the afternoon, those west winds kick up and our chance of precipitation you see here picks up after we get into the two o'clock in the afternoon hour. After that, it could be quite slippery into Sunday morning. The rest of your Sunday, things look pretty good. Snow into Sunday morning, then warm again on Sunday night and into Monday. So the travel conditions should improve greatly late Sunday into Monday. When the 40s return to portions of the viewing area by Tuesday, enjoy whilst you can, Mike Morgan, because no matter how much pressure you put in your footballs, when it hits five on Friday, we're going to be thinking of staying inside for Super Bowl type conditions. Check your computer on that, will you? Just double shake it a little bit. We'll double check it. Okay, thanks. You Just bet. for Friday. Later in sports, what will make this weekend something to remember for Moorhead hockey fans? But up next, the newest in summer fun and where you can see it all.